Hi, Ma! This is the first series to be presented by... Casting! Presented by animals! Look out! Farm animals, please! Farm animals only! We're tired of appearing in documentaries... Hey, hey! ...in which we look ridiculous! Ready? Because the show is about to begin! Don't move! Give us a big ollie ollie! <laughs> ollie ollie -oo! Please, do not feed the bear. Titan's going up! The director's in his chair! It's showtime, folks! Say a little prayer. Welcome to the TV viewers, welcome to the show. We're your friends, the two new ones, we'd like to say hello. We can tell you things that every human comes to know. It's the crazy TV television show! Howdy, howdy, you! Friends, now just calm down, act natural, and watch me. Now watch as I turn into a beetle. Who's the boss talking to? He's crazy. Yeah, the boss is talking crazy, maybe because he's alone. And Brawny, I gotta tell you, I don't understand a word you're saying. You talk too fast. You know what I mean, old pal? Hey! <laughs> I mean, I'll shut up. Okay? It hurts. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's crazy! Dee Dee will take you away! I'm gonna catch Crazy Ollie! <laughs> crazy? Who's the lunatic? Can you see anyone around here who looks crazy? Ooh. Yeah, you! <laughs> it's time I rose or rather shrunk to the occasion! <laughs> hey, hee hee, where'd the boss go? I can explain everything, Barely. Over here, camera. I shrunk myself to get a closer look at the insects, whose numbers are greater than any other animal. And this is their world, a place filled with colors and perfumes. Perfumes? So disgusting. Man, you look bad. You think you can flatten anybody with that ball of dung? Listen, Buster, I'm a dung beetle and I'm proud of it. I'm a professional, see? One of the best. I only drag around the most disgusting dung there is. And anyway, what are you supposed to be? A Colorado beetle or what? Now look here, you smelly insect. I'm not a beetle. I am Polly the Owl, and I'm used to having six of your type for breakfast every morning. But don't worry, Dungo, in this episode, ah. I'm a vegetarian, okay? Excuse me, that that's my phone? mobile. Yeah. Yeah, honey, I got the ball of dung already. Taking calls on dung duty? Really, animal life isn't what it used to be. No, I couldn't get horse, only cow. Of course there'll be room for all the kids. Once they're born, they'll have nothing but the best to eat. Dung beetles lay their eggs in a ball of dung in a tunnel in the earth, so when the larvae hatch, they all have something to feed on. And now you're behaving just like a typical human. You don't know how to appreciate good quality dung. No, I wasn't speaking to you, honey. When I called you a human, I was talking to a friend. No, not one of my buddies. Hey. Excuse me, Dungo, but, uh... Ah. Quiet! No, I wasn't talking to you, precious. I'll be home with the dung before you late the exit. Don't worry. Now, what do you want, darling? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think your dung ball is no longer your dung ball. What? Oh, no, my dung ball! Hey! See you later, Ollie. Hey, come back with that! Anyway, it's high time we took the bull by the horns and answered the question, what oh. is an insect? Uh, 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 an insect is a small oh, creature oh. with two antennae. Now, what do you think you're doing? Get your hands off me, you big brute. Oh, oh. And they're the only invertebrates that can fly. There we go, and ha! And remember one thing, an insect's favorite number is three. You let go of me, you big bully. What do you want with me? An insect's body is divided into three sections. One, the head. Oh, you leave my head alone. I'm not some educational toy. And two, the abdomen. And three, the thorax. And they have three pairs of legs that extend from the thorax. There. 
Oh, help, ants, help, oh, fellow ants, help me, help me, help me. The comrade is in danger, ant, charge. I better be going, just put this back together. Yeah! Huh? Whoa. What's the matter, you don't like my new look? Hey, come on, guys, it can't be as bad as all that. Oh, no, please, not that. Oh, 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 oh that was close. Hey, Ali, I got my ball back. Congratulations, Dungo. Another characteristic of insects is their eyes. They have up to five, two compound eyes, and three more on the top of their heads, which detect the intensity of light. With these glasses, we can see everything just as the eyes of insects do. An insect's eyesight isn't very clear, but we can detect each and every movement perfectly. See that tree? It doesn't seem very close. Ah! What was really close? Let's look the other way. Ah! Oh, no! Oh no, my ball's getting away again. My Ugh. Phew. Oh, now look what you've done, Ollie. Ah! Good strike, Dungo. Wanna go again? It ain't funny, Ollie. That's my dung ball, and it took a lot of work to get it. We're gonna go in there and get it back. Sorry. But my contract doesn't say anything about having to retrieve dung balls from ant hills, and I won't do it. It may interest you to know, Ollie, old pal, that beetles are the most numerous insects on the planet. As well as being the oh. biggest and the strongest. Allow oh. me to introduce you three of my cousin beetles. This one oh. here is Rhinoceros, this one here is Goliath, oh. and this one, of course, is Hercules. Hi, fellas, but Dungo. They're not going to let us just waltz into the anthill. They'll know us by our scent, won't they? That's no problem. After a hard day's work, I smell a little. About a few drops of old animals, and I smell like the most attractive animal in the world. Oh, Dungo, huh? that perfume really turns me on. No, please, don't hurt me. I told you this stuff works. Hey! With all the tunimals, we'll throw them off the scent. We're two sweet-smelling ants coming home from work. Ooh. How about you let us in? <laughs> <laughs> they swallowed it. Now let's find that ball. The ants are very well organized. Each one of them has its own mission. So I see. Oh, that's a drone. They do nothing but mate with the queen. Oh, the queen. Why didn't you say so? Oh, my queen. Your yes, antennae I will live forever in my heart. He sings out a tune and his guitar playing sucks. Hey, knock it off, will ya? <laughs> Don't get distracted, Dolly. We need to find that ball. Ah! Say. Well, this is crazy. We'll wear these antenna helmets so we can communicate. I'd better translate what they say for you. Sure. That architect ant may have seen my dung. What are you doing? Oh. Well? You see, ants use their antenna to communicate. I'll tell you what they're saying. Are you crazy? Why don't you look where you're going? We'll have none of that, my lad. Stuff like that could cause a crash. Certainly a graphic language. He says that he's got to get back to work, Ollie. Look, I know it's late and you gotta get back and get on with digging your tunnel, but I just wanted to know if you happened to have seen a ball of food rolling by, cause if you had, aha, he said the food's in the pantry. Aha! Wow, these guys have everything in here. Caterpillar cannelloni, mashed oh. butterfly. Ooh. Boy, this is making me so hungry. Delicious grasshopper oh. steaks. Hey, wait a minute, beetle boygers! Ah. You okay, Ollie? I must be delirious. There are green ants in this room. They're not green ants, Ollie. They're green fly, and they're the most important part of an ant's diet. Hey, oh. ah. Look out below. Hello, hello. Hello, I'm barely the cook. Sorry to intrude, but did somebody mention food? Well, I guess it's my part of the show, so I'm going to tell you about green fry. That's green fly, not green yeah. fry, you dummy. Oh. I mean, green fly. The ants raise green fly to milk them, just as if they were cows, but smaller. I mean, if they were cows, it wouldn't fit in the anthill. <laughs> they milk the green fly to obtain a sweet liquid, which all ants love. Mmm, nectar of green fly. Wart mouthering, I mean, mouth watering. Boy, these guys love their green fly cola. But of course, there are other animals besides ants who love green flies, so sometimes there's a confrontation, a, a, a concentration, no, a, a confrontation, I, I mean, a, a fight. The 
that must be the ant with no name. The ant calls a posse of the soldier ants with a fragrant drop from its abdomen. Surround the target, man! You think you can frighten me, midget? Unit two to the right, you there surround that flank. Unit three, someone help me get my antennae untied and don't anyone think of laughing. Give it up, bird brain. Those green fly are the property of our anthill. The ants can give some very fierce bites or throw a drop of poisonous liquid which smells awful. Hooey! This is unusual. Good work, comrades. We ants can lift up to 60 times our own weight. Let us put an end to our enemy. I'm moving, but I can't feel my legs. Come on, what's going on here? What's happening? Is this goodbye. some kind of chemical attack? <laughs> oh, goodbye! I mean, the ants drink green fly coal all the time. You should see him. What's with this guy? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 ha, ha, yeah. Risky permits, I mean, risky permits. Attack, enemy, at 12 o'clock. We are the wolf, and we will deal with this episode. And until we get in, we gotta keep on attacking. Oh, mama. What's the matter, you don't have my face or something? We just gotta keep looking for my dumb boy. Seems quite lively. Give me a drink here. Well, maybe we'll just get around to looking for that ball of dung later. Wow, look, those are the jar of honey ants. When the weather's good, they fill up with liquid to distribute it amongst the others during the winter. Let's go, Ollie. Two mega big drops. Ah. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, it's mine, so I guess it must be very good. You are free to download, but he's not available right now. If you care to leave a message at the phone, then it was a joke, honey. No, I'm not in the bar with a bunch of my buddies. Yes, dear. Goodbye, then, dear. Come on, all right, finish. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you, you great ball of dung? Oh. <laughs> Is it possible? Did that smelly bug just insult me? Majesty. Oh, no. He didn't mean you. Please forgive him. Don't let us interrupt. Carry on with what you were doing. Allow me, Your Majesty. When a little egg is born to be... That's awful. I'm not surprised that drones die as soon as they finish their reproductive functions. Hey, where do the nursemaids take the eggs? Well, I never. It's Mama Kangaroo. Well, now, what are you doing here? Well, it's time for my part of the show. Well, I've heard of anteaters, but never of anteateroos. We surrender. Good, that's sensible. Now let's get straight to the point and talk about the reproductive system of ants. Like most insects, the ant reproduces by means of eggs, and the queen is the only ant who lays them. If the egg is fertilised by a drone, a male will be born. However, if the egg is not fertilised, it'll be a female worker or a future queen. <laughs> And the nursemaid ants, who are in charge of looking after the eggs, take them to a room that's always kept at the same temperature. Now, when the eggs become larvae, they're sent up to another room, a kind of nursery. And it's there that they receive the affectionate care of the nurses. <laughs> and when they finally become mature ants, the first thing that they do is answer their mobile phones. Oh, sorry, that's me again. Uh, just give me a minute, will ya? Hello, dear. You won't believe this, honey, but I'm in an anthill with a kangaroo. No, I'm not drunk. Oh, well, I'd better be going now, Ollie. The scorpion's wife is waiting for me with her 200 little ones. Wow, that certainly is a big family. Did you know insects lay thousands of Stop eggs? there, Auntie Jeru! <laughs> give us a break, Mr. Scriptwriter, and bring on Christopher, will ya? I've been going flat out all day. <laughs> Please forgive this slight soupçon of a delay, dear viewers. And welcome to the program Good Manners with Christopher. I love myself too. If I were a chocolate, I'd ease myself. Now let's take a look at those barbarians, Hunker and Hunker. Ah, it looks like we caught you eating, Hunker. Lunchtime is one of the most restful moments of the day, isn't that right? I said, isn't that... Why aren't you sharing your food with Hunker? <laughs> 
Yeah. There's hardly anything left. Aren't you going to let Punker eat, you great big fat greedy hunker, you? <laughs> ah, I see you've tricked me. You really are a selfish brute. <laughs> I think Punk has got his own back. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson here. It's better to share with one another. That way you won't end up getting burned. Say goodbye to our public hunter. We'll be back soon, fans, with more lessons on good luck. <laughs> oh! You've got a well-developed abdomen? Of course she has. She lays so many eggs that... Well, it's not surprising she's so horribly fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he say fat? How dare he? Daughters, seriously uh. smelly intruder. I think you may regret that. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Charge, my brave soldiers. Get after them. Can't hear you back there. <laughs> That was too close for comfort, Dungo. I never thought I'd be happy to see a piece of... That's my thumb! Come back, I created you! Bye! Well, now seems the time for the interactive question. The queen ant lives longer than other ants, but the oldest recorded queen ant lived for how many years? Is it A, 15 years, B, 29 years, or C, 160 years? Looks fun. While you think of the answer, we'll carry on dealing with insects. Ants aren't the only insects in nature. There's the ever-popular bee. They collect nectar from flowers with a proboscis which protrudes from their mouths. Although it can sometimes be a little dangerous. When they arrive at the beehive, the collector bees explain to the others where the flower's nectar is to be found. With this nectar, they'll make their honey. They dance in a circle to indicate the flower is less than 100 meters away and what the position is in relation to the sun. However, when the distance is over 100 meters, they fly in a figure of eight. They're remarkable insects. And do you like wasps? No! no! Me neither, because while bees feed on flowers... We want bottom to sing! Wasps eat other insects. I told you we'd get on this Tunimo show, so you better not say a bad word about us, Owl. Uh -huh. A bee can only sting once, then it dies, but a wasp... There! A wasp can sting when it likes! Ah, they're using chemical weapons! Ah, retreat! Oh. That's taken care of them. Oh no, that wasp, he must have got me right in the heart! This is it! All he's done for! So ends a life dedicated oh. to the study of animals. Friends and animals, don't forget me! <laughs> me doing all the work and him lying there having a nap? Some oh, burn. yuck! What is that awful stink? Oh, I might have guessed. Always so melodramatic. Uh -huh. What happened to our cousin? Oh. I don't know. That caterpillar is your cousin, but he isn't a beetle. Well, of course the caterpillar is my cousin, Ollie. He just hasn't developed his shell yet. The shell that is our skeleton. Sorry, Mr. Owl. You see, us insects don't have any final skeleton. You see now? Wow, it's true. You don't have any King bones. King gonna squash my ball. There, I knew he was gonna do that. Ronnie! Can't you do something about him, Ollie? Oh. Sorry, boss. No, don't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about an insect physique, which ain't bad, but it sure ain't as good as mine. That's why I even got muscles in my hair. Stop messing about. Tell us about the metamorphosis of insects. Oh, uh, yeah, well, metamorphosis means the same as another strange word, which is, mm, yeah, change. Insects are constantly changing from the time they're born. We'll demonstrate it with this ladyboy egg. When the egg breaks, a lava pops out, you see? Why, you're nothing more than a, a, a human being. Do you really think you've got the right to go around waking up bugs like that? No, no, little lava. No one calls me a human being. Anyway, you're not a lava no more. Once you've eaten and grown a little, you soon become a fully grown caterpillar, and you start to look like this. This giant walking teddy bear is assaulting me. I'm gonna have to nip myself somewhere. I'll be safe. Yay, look, they're fantastic cocoon weavers, too. Hey, and you know what? This is kind of fun. It's just like a yo-yo. You're messing up my hair, you troglodyte. What a pity the fun's over. So there you have it, folks. Insects transform, and the lava is now a ladyboy with wings. Fly away home, ladyboy. Go and have some fun. <laughs> fun! Oh, oh, please! Oh, oh, oh! Listen, I know a lot about insects, Ollie, and I can help the you. The ball! 
Take as an example this branch and this leaf. It's neither a branch nor a leaf. They're stick insects, and they imitate nature perfectly. Really? How interesting. You're such a skeptic. Right, the great Dongo will now show you. Hi! How you doing, fellas? You stinking dung pusher. Huh? What? Well, if that's the way you feel, cousin, I won't stick around. Oh! You were right, Dungo. Those fellows really are masters of disguise. Hello, dear. I was on my way right now. Yes, Stop I'm that home. Ball of oh. No, the screaming is not a woman, dear. It's my friend. And no, I'm not out on the bender. If you knew the trouble I had to get this ball... Take over, Polo! Well, all right. Phew! There are insects all over the whole planet, you see? But you don't need to travel too far to find them. Do you know where there might be some insects? Yes, right here. Fleas and lice live up here, unless you can head them off. Okay, boys, here looks just fine. Wow, oh, yeah, cool, cool man. man. We, we got hair, skin, blood, and flea paradise. Well, look at what we got here. What are you back of fleas doing here? This is Lyle's territory. Hey, cool it. This is a very big bird. Lice and fleas can share it. Slip me some skin, brother. Hey, hey! Peace among parasites. Okay, give me five, bro. Let's get him a flea, pride, and power. Now, I guess us fleas and lice can live together on this bird. This calls for a celebration. Now those little nipples are holding a party on my head. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, there are insects everywhere. In forests, rivers, deserts, some are a little annoying, but they also help to fertilize the fields, enriching the earth with their tunnels, and by moving seeds about, their presence is essential for the rest of the animals, even for humanity. I hope our journey in search of a ball of dung has helped you appreciate insects more. It has! No, honey, I swear I wasn't going there. Come on, will you put the phone down? Think of the building gonna get. I told you, I wasn't in the bar. Good for nothing. Staying out, getting drunk. Where's the big one? I'm going to hit him. They're small, but. Charge! Come on! Charge, my brave soldiers! Get the little owl! I think it's time to return to my proper side. Uh, get him! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Huh? 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 Hello? Hey, this owl ain't so little anymore! All right, retreat, but don't run so fast, you cowards! Wait for me! Now, distinguished public, I take my leave. Now, whenever you think of first-class dung, you'll think of Dungo. Hey, whoa! Goodbye, Dungo. And we could not live without you, I assure you. <laughs> I'll get you again, you crazy bird! <laughs> You're fine!